Hello everybody, and welcome to How to Play the Shredder Comp. I'm Random Demon one I'm a Challenger TFT player, and I'm excited to bring you this guide. This is one of the best comps in the game right now. So, let's start by talking about the units. What units are required to make the Shredder Comp work? The first and most important unit is, of course, Zaya herself. She is the Shredder. This will be your main carry for the comp. Second to Zaya, you're going to have Jarvan. Jarvan's a necessary uh, support unit because his ult is going to make Zaya attack twice as fast, right? Jarvan's ult, when she when he is three star, will make his uh, ult give allies 100% attack speed, which is nice for the whole team, but it's mainly used for Zaya. The other one cost units that you'll have are Fiora and Caitlyn, right? Caitlyn's the strongest Chrono unit, and you're going to need Chrono. And Fiora is the other one cost Blade Master. Once you hit level 5, you're going to add in a Shen. Incredibly important unit, because he's going to give you Chrono and Blade Master, as well as being a very good frontline unit anyway. After that, you're going to have Rakan. Uh, Sinzao works as well, but Rakan's just better. He is the uh, unit that will give you Celestial Trait, which will allow Zaya to heal through uh, any like damage from you know like blasters or being CC'd or anything like that. Um, the Protector Trait that it gives is kind of nice, but it's very much an extra. It's not really necessary. Okay, once you've got these six units, you're going to want to add in your Ash and your Cassidin, and this will give you four Celestials, as well as a nice little Sniper bonus as well. Again, kind of like the Protector, the Sniper bonus is kind of whatever. These units are primarily here for four Celestials. That 35% healing, or 30% healing, or whatever it is, is really nice. Uh, it will allow Zaya to heal through a lot of things. This is your level 8 comp, pretty much always. This is going to be what you're aiming for every game. So let's talk about some of the late game improvements you can make once you have uh, your core comp set up. Uh, maybe not a late game improvement, but if your Fiora is not 3 star and you happen to stumble across an Aurelia, you can swap Fiora for Aurelia, that will give you a Mana Reaver bonus. It really is just a better Fiora anyway. You're right, you'll maintain the Blade Master and you'll add in a Mana Reaver trait, which is a very good trait to have. You'll have your two front two of your frontline units to delay some of the frontline's ults, which would be really good against like, you know, any kind of frontline Cho'gath or whatever. If you can make it to level nine, or you get a force of nature, or anything that'll add, you know, a unit, you can do this kind of uh, I, I say complex, it's not that complex, but it's it takes a bit of thought. You can swap out Ash for Lulu, Caitlyn for Thresh, and add in a Soraka. This way you lose your snipers, but you gain Mystics, and you also gain the third Mana Reaver. Uh, Thresh, Lulu, and Soraka are strictly better than Caitlyn and Ash anyway, so you don't really really care about the snipers. Again, the snipers bonus wasn't, a, wasn't extra, it's all about Zaya. Uh, the Mystic Comp late game is, sorry, the Mystic Comp, the Mystic Trait late game is very helpful uh, because most comps you'll be facing against will have some kind of ability damage. In addition to that, Thresh is a very good unit, pulls an extra uh, reinforcements from your bench. Lulu is very good for CC, and Soraka is actually surprisingly useful late game with her heal because healing the entire team for a certain amount when you have nine of them. Right, you've got nine units. Healing the entire team is actually quite nice. The Soraka could be swapped out for a Karma to help Zyra as well. Uh, or Sona if you can't find anything else. Okay, so let's talk about the necessary items that you need for this comp. Zaya absolutely needs Last Whisper. It's mandatory. It's so necessary that you get Last Whisper on Zaya because Without Last Whisper, she cannot do anything versus the Vanguard frontline, right? This is just 
peak necessary item. Also a necessary item is Infinity Edge. It is the best DPS uh, item in the game right now, and Zaya will be 3 star in your comp, which gives her a lot of attack damage anyway, so multiplying that attack damage by 2.5 is just incredible. Third item, which I also think is just extremely necessary, is Quicksilver, right? Preventing your Zaya from being CC'd. It will save you so much pain because the Zoe bubble landing on your Zaya, stunning her for four seconds, is ridiculous. It's an insane amount of damage lost from your team. Zoe bubble, right? Graves smoke grenade, stunning her for four seconds is insane. Uh, you know, enemy Rakan just jumping on your Zaya, you know, or a Vi, or a Cho'Gath ult, just anything. She she needs to not be CC'd, right? Uh, so QS, Quicksilver, is mandatory. Um, I guess you could build Trap Claw as well, but like, yeah, Quicksilver is the best. If you really can't make Quicksilver, then anything else will work, like Ginsu's, Shiv, Bloodthirster, another Infinity Edge. Um, these are all items that can work. Uh, but y you really want to strive towards Quicksilver. Other items that can work, um, most of the other items will go on Jarvan. You know, anything defensive works. Um, you know, Frozen Heart, Locket, Redemption, Trap Claw, all very defensive purposes. This is a rot because Jarvan will be 3 star, so having the Voidling come out with 3000 health, which you can only get from 3 star units, is very nice. Uh, the other item that people will probably overlook is Rabadons incredibly useful on Jarvan in this comp specifically because uh, Jarvan's ult, as we talked about before, gives uh, the rest of his team attack speed. Rabidon's death cap will make his ult give even more attack speed, which is very beneficial for Zaya. Uh, of course when you get to the late game, Lulu and Thresh can use Spear of Shojin and uh, I want to say Zephyr? No, not Zephyr, um, Seraph's Embrace. Okay, so you know the comp and you know the items, right? If you know the comp and you know the items, the only thing left to talk about is how to force Shredder. It is a very forcible comp and I recommend that you try and force it every game. So we'll start by talking about how to force it from the very first carousel, okay? Like when you load into the game, before you even face minions, you have a carousel round. At this carousel round, you need to remember that Zaya needs Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, Quicksilver. All of these items contain a sparring glove. So on the first carousel, you're going to hunt for that sparring glove, right? You're gonna just force it. You're gonna go for it. If you really can't get the sparring glove because it's contested for some reason or someone else is going Shredder Comp, then you can get the other items for those three core items, right? Infinity Edge, BF Sword, Recurve Bow for Last Whisper, or Cloak for Quicksilver. Those are fine as well. If you can't get Glove or any of the other three items because you've had a nightmare, then you might not be able to force Treader, and you'll probably have to uh, go for some other comp. Uh, unless the items in the minion round really goes your way. Okay. Those are the items done, right? Uh, stage one, you know, during the minion rounds, you're just going to pick up as many Zayas, Jarvans, Caitlins, and Fioras as possible. Uh, your aim, remember, is to three star Zaya and Jarvan, right? Zaya is the most important three star, Jarvan is the next most important three star. Caitlin and Fiora can be three starred, but it's not really necessary. Just two starring them is completely fine, but if you can three star them, then obviously you want to three star them. And you also want to pick up Shens, right? He's going to be the unit you put in when you're level five for your fifth unit to put to get that Chrono Blade Master trait buff. Until stage three one, right? So throughout stage one and stage two, you're going to econ as much as possible. You're probably going to go on a small losing streak here, which is completely fine. It gives you first pick on the carousel anyway, and you're never leveling, never rolling, right? This is the whole point of hyper rolling. You just never level, never roll, 
you're going to save all the gold until stage 3-1. When you hit stage 3-1, you're going to hyper roll. Roll for all of these units and Shens as well, right? But mostly these units. During stage 3-1, you're going to roll and hopefully pick up these three stars. If you don't, when you hit zero gold, no sweat, you will have gotten most of the Zyres and Jarvans that you need anyway. And then from stage 3-2, after you've rolled, you would quit. You would play quote-unquote normally, which is a whole other topic, like how to play like mid and late. Um, but here, from stage 3-2 onwards, you just you don't need to do any more rolling. Right, unless you're in a unique situation where you're in a dire situation and you've lost too much health early for some reason or whatever, but yeah, completely fine. Pick up these units, roll, three star them, then play normally. That's it. That's the shredder comp. Thanks for watching. I want to wish you good luck and happy shredding.